In this video, I'm going to discuss how to write conclusion as part of your chapter 4 in your quantitative research paper. Okay, so let's have an example. So this is the conclusion part of a research of my research paper. Uh, so chapter 4 pa rin ito ha. So this is chapter 4. Ayan, this is book type. Kaya naka-chapter naka-chapters, yung mga part ng research paper. Ayan. So, chapter 4, the discussion, the first variable, um, the second variable, this one, and the significance of the relationship of the two variables, and dito, between the two variables, ayan, relationship nila, and after that would be the conclusion. Okay. So, conclusions are drawn based on the results of the study. Of course, yung conclusions na ilalagay mo dito, naka-anchor or naka-base dun sa result ng study mo. You may not include this statement, no? Parang given na siya, na yung conclusion mo is really based on the results uh, from uh, of your study. Okay? So, you may not include this statement. So, the study concludes that the overall level of school climate of the private secondary schools in Barangay Ilang was high, as well as indi its indicators. So, first part ng conclusion mo would be the level, overall level of your first variable. Okay? And yung mga uh, levels ng indicators. So, high din kasi yung mga levels ng indicators uh, ng first variable. So, we have... Uh, expectation, supports, and peer social climate. The only domain, the only domain in mo in moderate level was school safety. Eto kasi yung naiba, no? School safety. Ayan. Furthermore, eto naman, yung sa level naman ng second variable. So, the overall level of mathematical disposition of the students was high, which was indicative of the high levels among all seven domains of mathematical disposition of the students. Okay, pwede mo ring ilagay pa isa-isa dito, isa-isahin yung mga indicators ng second variable, no, as well as their levels. Pwede ganun, no? Um, kahit paano mo siya i-state dito, basta ang gusto nating malaman, yung overall level ng first variable at saka yung mga levels ng indicators niya. And then, overall level ng second variable. And then, yung levels ng indicators niya din. Okay, that's your first paragraph. The next one, eto na ngayon yung sa uh, relationship ng dalawa. Yung correlation ng dalawang variable. So, moreover, the findings opposed the theoretical assumption of no significant relationship between school climate and mathematical disposition of the students. Eto naman, Kasi nireject yung null hypothesis na no significant relationship between the two variables. Okay? So, contrary to the assumption, the, stu the study concludes that the school climate and the student mathematical disposition were positively related. So, ito yung result. Okay? Ito yung result. That the two variables are significantly related. That is, change, ito yung ibig sabihin ng correlation ng dalawa. No? Change in the level of the first variable affects the level of the second variable. Okay? And then, magbibigay ka ng at least isang support, supporting literature dun sa relationship ng dalawang variable. So, this supports the proposition of OECD 2013 that the dispositions of the students towards learning mathematics are influenced by the rules and practices at school, teacher-student relations, and expectations, which are determinants of school climate. Okay, hindi na natin isali itong last paragraph kasi yung sa itong thesis ko, may pang-apat pa siyang research objective, which is the uh, test of influence. Pero hindi na natin ito isasali. So, hanggang dito lang kay sa test of relationship. Ayan. Okay, so that's the conclusion.